Thank you. So last lesson, not last lesson, over the last few weeks, we've actually gone over the idea of probability. So what is probability? Lucy. It's basically just the odds that something. Perfect. The odds something will happen, right? So the chances something will happen. And in real life, it's obviously going to be very prevalent. It's not just really cliche stuff like uh, like going, oh, if you buy a lottery, what's the chance of you winning? Which is a bis Have you guys seen this? Have I shown you guys before? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys have to see this. This is the probability of you winning the lottery. I've shown you this, right? Yeah, it's abys abysmally small, right? It's abysmally small, ridiculously small. But also just the idea, for example, girls, listen out the back, thank you. <laughs> just things like chance of raining or that you guys will see that probability in the news right so probability is very prevalent or if you play not blackjack or gambling but like 21 or something like that right so the idea is probability helps us understand what are the chances of something happening I think on Monday Darwin had a very unlucky situation when he got a 2 and said higher and it ended up being an ace something like that so how many no, he cards? Got an, he got an ace and he said lower. And then it ended up being even lower than. Oh, it being higher? No, it was higher. Oh, okay. Alright, so how many cards do we have in a deck? 52, thank you very much. I'm seeing a lot of people distracted up the back. It's very difficult for me to project so far given it's a large classroom. So I appreciate when I'm talking to you guys, you can look at me so I know you're, you know you're listening. Thank you. Cards are a very classic example of how we're going to be looking at probability. There's 52 cards in a deck. Is it easier to get, to get one diamond card out of one draw, or is it easier to get all diamond draws from 15 draws? 15. 15. As in 15. every single one is a diamond. Wait, no, first one. No. First one, right? Why is it easier for the first one? What's the probability of me drawing a diamond in the first one? 13 out of 52. That's a, not a diamond. Because there's 53 decks and 52 diamonds. Perfect. So 52 cards in a deck. That's a very wonky diamond, but it's a diamond nonetheless. I'm very small. I get 41% of my math Thank you. Well, now he's going to make what you're we have four suits, we have diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades, and we have 52 cards in the deck. Intuitively means that they have 13 of each, uh, of each suit. So for example, there are 13 diamonds. So what are the chances, and I've removed the jokers, what are the chances that if I draw my first card, it's going to be a diamond? One in 52. One in 52? One in four. One in four, because there's one in four, every four cards, it should be one diamond, theoretically, right? Because there are 13, and I can say that the probability of, and you guys might have seen this terminology with a less wonky di uh, diamond, probability of getting a diamond is how many diamonds do I have, which is 13, divided by the total number of cards, 52, and you can simplify that as one over four, you can do that in your calculator, it doesn't matter. So 25% chance, in other words, if you use your calculator, you can see that's 0 0.25 or 25%, same thing. 25% chance of you getting a diamond. Yeah. Now, what if I said, I draw a card, I put it back, I draw another card, how do I say what the probability of both of them being diamond is? So in other words, if I draw a card, I get a diamond, and the next card's a diamond. So this is actually one of the most important parts of probability I really want to hammer home. And, and or. Okay? So and means we multiply, or means we add. I'm gonna do an example of this, okay? What's the probability of me getting a diamond? We know it's 25% or one over four, okay? What's the probability of me? Can we shut the window please? I'm freezing. Then I have to open the door then. Because I have to open ventilation for COVID regulations. That's fine. Let's close it. That's fine. I'll, I'll open this one. Let's close it. Thanks, Karen. So if I said the first card is a one over four probability of getting a diamond, 
and I'm looking for another diamond. If I'm replacing the card, what's the probability of me getting a diamond? So I multiply them. So, so the first one, I'm saying, you know, it's listening. All right, so we have diamonds. If I'm saying the first one is a diamond and the second one is a diamond, like I said, we multiply. So the probability of getting a diamond at first is a quarter, and the prob probability of getting another diamond is a quarter. So I multiply them, it gives me 1 over 16. Okay. Awesome. Now, if I said I want the first card to be diamond or the second card to be diamond, I add them. So I've got a quarter, and I add it to get another quarter, and I end up with what? What's one quarter plus a quarter? Half. Half, thank you. Half. So it's very clear which one's bigger, half or one over 16? Half. Half. It's a lot easier, much, much easier to get a diamond somewhere than it is to say I want both of them to be diamonds. But in real life, let's say I'm shuffling a pack of cards when we're playing higher or lower. In real life, when I take a card out, I don't put it back in immediately, shuffle it, and then take another card, right? In real life, I'm going to take a card out, put it down, and we're going to sh go through the deck. So what that is, that's called multi-step, right? Because it's saying, well, I'm taking a card out. I'm not putting it back in. I'm taking another card. So what we can use is we can use something called tree diagrams to make sure we understand what's going on. So let's say I draw my first card here, my second card here, and my third card is over here. Can you guys see that off the bat? Yeah. Yep, thank you. So let's say I'm talking about, let's say I'm talking about clubs, okay? So I'm gonna say clubs, that's, that's a club symbol, I swear. And then not clubs. And does anyone remember what we call it as, or what, we, what the term we use for not something? Start to see. Com Com complementary. 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 And what's the symbol we use for complementary? Not quite. No, it's just that. A dash. It's apostrophe. Right? So this is saying club dash means anything that's not a club. So what's the probability of getting a club? One in sixteen. One in one in four. One in four, thank you, because there are four suits. What's the probability of getting not a club? Three quarters. Perfect. Everything else, three quarters. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep it actually as in over fifty-two. So how many? Thank you very much. We have 13 cards that are clubs. And we have how many that are not clubs? 39? Good. Good work. Now, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to say, okay, look, the chance of me getting a clubs in the first draw is 13 over 52. But then what's the probability if I've taken... If I've, t oh, it's 39 because it's everything else that's not clubs. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So let's say I've taken a card out. I've seen that it is a spade, so it's not a club. I'll put that down. So spades, the one that looks like this. Is that the pointy one? Yeah, that's the one. So we're going to follow the bottom one, right? We're going to follow the bottom one because we didn't get a spade. So now we do the same thing, but I'm going to draw another spades dash and this is super messy, I apologize. But then we have another chance <clears throat> of getting a clubs now, right? We have another chance of getting clubs. So how many cards are left? I've taken one out. 51. 51, thank you. There's 51 cards left. How many clubs? 13. How many clubs are still there left? Thank you, 13. Now, I've taken one of the spades out. <clears throat> Before, there was 39 non-clubs. Yeah. How many non-clubs do I have left? 38. 38, thank you. Because I've taken one out. It's out of the pack. I have 38 out of 51. Yeah. Eventually, if I keep going, keep going, keep going, 
you'll notice the bottom number, the total number of cards I have, will eventually go down to being one. Makes sense, right? In which case, it's certain I'm going to get whatever card that is. So these tree diagrams help me explain different steps and help me explain how do I find the different steps. In this case, if I said, if I said, what's the probability of me getting the first card, getting not a clubs, but then the second card, getting a clubs, well, I'm going to say, I'm going to pick these numbers, so not a clubs, I forgot the dash there, there we go, not a clubs, and I multiply it by getting a club, because I'm saying and, right? So I'm saying a not a clubs and a club, so I multiply them, and that's something you would be able to do in your calculator, of course. Okay? Yeah. Another word for and is this symbol here. Does anyone know what that stands for? Upside down. That's everything that's not upside down rainbow. 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 This is intersect. Or in other words, and. For example, if I separated the class as in having the people with short hair and then females on one side, there'll be some people that are female and have short hair. In which case that would be the intersect. They have both short hair and are female. Perfect. It's that little section over here. That's the intersect. The other one is the upside down version which stands for union. What's everything in there? It's all. In this case, if I said, you know, I sort of one more minute of talking, then you guys can get started. If I said union, or, or use the big U as a symbol, that's saying that in this situation, let's say go back to the idea of short hair and females. If you have short hair, or you are female, then it's everyone included that has those properties. It doesn't have to be both. Yes? This is just an example. Sure. Okay. Do I have any questions about what I just went through? No. no? Okay. I want you guys to get started working on the uh, <clears throat> the progress quiz on page 602 of your textbook. Thank you. During this time, you can chat amongst yourself, but I'll come around and see how you're going. <laughs>